Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So here is the tips or tutorials on how to update Samsung Galaxy G7 Prime into Android 11 or Android R. So let's get into the um, steps. So first, open your phone or boot your phone into recovery mode by pressing the power button, volume up volume up and the home bottom at the same time and then you will open like this swipe to allow modifications and then first thing is flash the universal universal 7870 repartitioner and by the way all the links guys i will be linked into i will be linked that into the description box so don't you worry and let's go, we will transfer the files via USB cable. So after um, we are now done transferring the repartitioner, we're going to install that here. We will not unplug the USB cable because there are a lot of files to transfer later on. Again, swipe out the verification and then go to wipe. Advanced wipe. Select Dalby Catchy Data. And Catchy. Swipe to wipe. And then back. And then go to format data and type yes. So after that guys, um, back again and then reboot to recovery. So after booting now the the phone into recovery mode let's transfer all the needed files here so after transferring all the files unplug now the USB cable and start installing click install first thing is install first the create vendor here it will took a while and then after the complete installation of this zip file um reboot your phone into recovery mode once go back and reboot your phone into recovery mode So here it says oh um Tinwin and then back to install again and select the install image flash now the room select a system image And after flashing the, the room file, just go back and flash the edge vendor. door. 
and reboot system so after rebooting guys and just wait your device to boot up and it says there the logo wait your device to boot up it takes 10 to 15 minutes and there you go the google it successfully boots up into a google room and then powered by android here you go it successfully boot ups to our samsung galaxy g7 prime and let's head into the settings just um click the android phone uh, about phone and it says there a pixel 2 and let's check into the android version okay so there you go the android 11r logo which is um, it successfully installed here in our device but guys let me just tell you this room is not stable as other GSI or other ported rooms just for example the Android 10 ported rooms and the Edge room the Edge room S20 port something like that the Tutsuka OS are the more stable than this but if you want to install this then you can try all the links in the description and then you can follow all the installation steps but again let me just tell you again and again other people might be um experiencing random reboots or random shutdowns throughout um after the installations so that's all for today's video guys hope hope to see you next video and don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell for you to be updated whenever i upload videos see you next video bye